Hi, I'm Josh. I live in London and I'm in my 20s. I've got a lot of friends and we're all out. And we have a great social life. I enjoy getting ready to go out with my friends. I like to look good. You know, you never know who I might meet or where the evening will take me. Whether it's a casual drink or a hookup, you know, who knows. I think we're gonna go to Soho, go to a couple of bars, then decide where to go from there. It should be good fun. My name is Kenita Placid. I am 38 years and I'm from Sinusha in the Caribbean. When I go to other countries and I see people holding hands and kissing and being themselves, it feels like a fairy tale. Because I think until I'm able to create that same environment for everybody back home, it is something that I still wonder about, is this really true? Being LGBT in Sinusha has a lot of difficulties. Having a burglary law and a gross and decency law, and we carry both. Safety has been a big issue. The last life we lost was a 17-year-old who met somebody online, went to meet them, and met his death to 56 stab wounds. There's a need for continuous security. I'm Jonah Chinga from Nairobi, Kenya, and I'm 28 years old. It's very challenging to be an LGBTQ person in Kenya. Going out in Kenya is a challenge in itself. Some of my friends have been victims of attack because they were all glammed up. The society thinks that that's not the way that a man should dress. Therefore, you know, violence erupts. When I see the social life that the LGBTQ community have here in UK, I feel that they are privileged. And I also feel that it's upon us to be able to get our country to that space, a place where being who you are is not looked at something different. My name is Jolene and I'm 53 and I'm from Tonga. Being an LGBT in Tonga it has its ups and downs. There's no full acceptance of who you are. It's a struggle that we've gone through for quite a long time. A lot of our communities cannot really be themselves or show affections in public. The majority of our communities have moved overseas and live as whoever they want to be. It's just not safe at home anymore. What I see in the UK is what I wish for Tonga to have, for everybody to have access for everything. I'm Rosanna, I'm 60 years old, and I'm from Colombo, Sri Lanka. Sexuality and sex is taboo in Sri Lanka. We are still 30, 40 years behind Britain when it comes to how LGBTIQ persons are treated. And we are constantly in contact with people who call and say they've been abused by you know, either their family or society, people that pick on them, wait in dark alleys for them so that they can be beaten and raped, blackmailed, uh, and money is extorted or sexual favors are extorted. This is really commonplace in Sri Lanka. It happens every day. Going out in Sri Lanka can be fairly hazardous. There's no such thing as a gay bar in Sri Lanka or a lesbian bar. I don't go out. I love dancing, but there's no lesbian bar that I could go to in Sri Lanka. This is something that people enjoy in countries like the UK, but is just sort of like a distant dream for, for some of us. Contribute towards Kaleidoscope's efforts to free all of our countries from the yoke of criminalization. For us to continue our work, we need your help. We are a small charity. We don't have much money. We occupy one desk in a shared office space. We really do need your support in order for us to be able to help the activists around the Commonwealth whose work is what we exist to support. So even a little amount of money given regularly is really important to our work and to what they can achieve. So please help us.